Hello everyone! Today we will visit the Christmas market in Brussels, in Ghent and in the cozy and crowded Ostend, where not only buildings and streets are decorated, but also ships. And in the next video we will visit Antwerp and Bruges. And I will say in the end what is the same drawback of these cities. So the capital of Belgium, Brussels, opens our list. First I'll talk about it, the surprise me the most and then we'll get down to business. Well, it's quite a strange city. Everyone walks by and doesn't even notice that poor Santa is stuck. He seems to have some problems, hanging there all day perhaps, maybe in need of some help. Oh, of course, and then they won't receive any gifts because Santa is stuck on a rope here. Although today is not holiday, so I don't know, maybe he went on a reconnaissance mission or planning his route. But well, alright. So this is not the strangest thing. What could be stranger? The fact that everyone is so busy at the market that they didn't even notice the planet crashed into the building and it's burning. Well, maybe not burning, but still hot. But what's the difference? Doesn't matter. But the fact of the planet colliding with the building and nobody cares. Oh, people here with their concerns and shopping that even such a phenomenon is normal for them. That is only me who is in shock. Well, at least everyone is alive, no one was hurt. They don't plan to take it away as I see, cause then they'll have to patch up the hole. So like this even better. And there's a bungalow over there. What's inside? We will see very soon. Well, it's not weird that people do not notice such things, because it seems like you are in the Christmas wonderland. When you stroll through the cobble streets, the grand place a UNESCO World Heritage Site comes alive, with a dazzling display of lights and a towering Christmas tree adorned with shimmering decorations. Of course, and how can we do without the famous little pin boy, Mannequin Peace. Here there are raw apples and sweets to suit every taste. around 240 Christmas huts, illuminations and attractions displayed in a 2.5 km long route in the center of Brussels. It's unique, despite its appearance as a massive Christmas market, it's actually a collection of smaller markets scattered throughout the city center. This might seem confusing at the beginning, but later you will find sense. In front, on the hut's roof, is written what they sell, for example, savannah flowers. That's why I thought they were selling savannah flowers, but there are not real flowers. And what is it then? These are not candles and not just fake flowers. It's a soap, cost 10 euro. Quite pretty, by the way. And these are candles made of wax, but not pure. They also sell here black and white burgers. And here are macarons, someone can correct and say that they are macarons. This is also correct, but macaron is more correctly. One piece, one euro. But it's not that expensive comparing to other prices here. And we reach bungalow. I imagine it expected something more, not just a performance. A little disappointed, but that's okay. Soon we will go to Ghent, which is not less popular than Brussels. By the way, Ghent also has an ice skating rink, but without ice. Well, we will see what kind of rink it is. I was offered cotton candy and uh, strawberries with caramel. You know what? In childhood it was much tastier. 3 euro each. Well, this is famous Belgian nougat. 100 grams, 6 euros. 
Can disco per dance? Is already train station? Wait, we have to touch it to make our wish come true and maybe come back here. Well, we did already everything, so we can go to Ghent. We are in Ghent now. Who do you think? Where are all these people going? Correct, to the market. We already visited it last year, so let's see how the prices and products have changed. So in my opinion, Ghent is one of the most beautiful cities in Ghent. If you pay attention to the architecture, it looks medieval and modern at the same time. <gasps> Grinch is fake! Kids don't believe, it's a wig. The shop, the goods completely changed. This cost 173 euros, 70 euros, Santa Cook 17 euros. Of course, everything is cheaper in the shop, but this is Christmas market, and this toy costs 15 euros. Fried potato on a stick is 6 euros, just like in Paris, because last year we visited a Christmas market in Paris. One toy is 5 euro. And honey, a jar like this costs from 9 to 13 euros. Food is 45 euros. Unnumbered game board, 99 euros. But most likely, it's for beauty, not for real game. Here they sell cheese, you can try it if you want. The price is almost 14 euros per piece. There is cheese with garlic, paprika and other additives. But there is also a benefit – saving electricity. Hot chocolate – you're never gonna believe me how much it costs. It costs 6 euros for one cup. And here is the same thing only last year. Another cup, more hot chocolate and it was much tastier. And now taste is like so-so.
and shot six euros for nothing. Here we went around the entire Christmas market. Well, now let's go to Ostend and then to Antwerp and Bruges. Ostend won't take much time because it's a small, cozy city next to the sea. As I said, not only streets and buildings are decorated, but also the ships. By the way, it's been a real ship, and if you add all the distance traveled by the ship, it's equal to 15 trips around the world. It has already become a museum, and we have already visited it as well. It's quite interesting to visit inside to find out how it works and everything else. And this is a fishing ship, they say it's also a museum, and that everyone likes it, even those who are not into fishing. I think I should visit it later. So people decorate not only ships, but also yachts near ships. Carol of the Bells is sung all over the world, but unfortunately only few people know that it's Ukrainian, not American, British, Dutch or some other, and when people find out they are very, very surprised. I can't even imagine who will sit on this carousel in such a cold season. There are noticeably much, much fewer people here, but that's good, at least we can breathe here, but not push through the crowd. We have already seen this majestic church from the inside. As I said, we visited a stand really fast, and it's time to go to another city. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Have a nice day!